This is the IR module for the Xtool S1. We are gonna get this set up, talk about what it can do, and figure out if you need this for your S1 machine. This laser module is an add-on to the Xtool S1. When you buy the machine, you can either choose the 20 watt or the 40 watt laser head. I have the 40 watt and I chose to get the infrared laser module in addition. So it comes as a separate piece and you can just swap it out for the laser head that's on your machine. So why would you choose to get the infrared laser module? So with the traditional diode laser, you can do all kinds of things. We've covered a lot of videos on what you can cut and engrave, but what you cannot do is engrave precious metal or raw metals. You can do anodized aluminum or stainless steel, but you can't do like a piece of brass or copper or gold. You can't do raw metals. That is where this infrared laser module comes in. You can also use this on plastics and acrylic. I've tried it on stone as well. It, it works similar to a diode laser, but it gives a much different finish. And we're gonna look at some of those comparisons in a little bit. So to get this set up, it is the same process that you used when installing your initial laser head. You're just gonna unplug the air assist and the connection on the side. You're gonna take off the little sensor on the right. You're gonna unscrew the two top screws, and then you're gonna put the infrared laser module back in in the same manner. When you are connecting this, make sure your machine is completely turned off. I unplugged mine just to be safe. Once it's all connected and you turn the machine on, you can go over and open up Xtool Creative Space and it'll recognize that you now have the infrared laser on there. It's gonna give you a few different options for material settings. Everything else is the same. You create your design, you do the two point positioning system, and then you let the laser go to work. I wanted to see specifically how this laser engraved materials that the diode laser can also engrave. So I started with a piece of black acrylic. This is opaque cast acrylic, and I did the same designs right next to one another. I used the settings that came in XCS, both of them engraved really nicely. What I found in this test and in others is that the IR module is gonna give like a brighter finish. It's just, it's a little bit more white and the graphic stands out a little bit more compared to the 40 watt laser. This would look beautiful if you're doing photos or really detailed images. I highly recommend taking the material you're gonna use, whether it's acrylic or metal, and making your own grid with power and speed so you can see the different results. On metal, this will actually oxidize certain types of metals and you'll get different colors when engraving, which is absolutely beautiful. The next test I did was on some bare metal. The laser actually comes with a few different test pieces so you can try this out. This little necklace, cannot be engraved with my traditional diode laser. It just can't because it's bare metal. What I loved about this is it gave a really crisp and clear engraving and it was really fast. When engraving with this, you don't get any of those burn marks or scorch marks or jagged edges. It's just really clean and crisp. So who is this laser module for? If you want to engrave bare metals, this is probably something you're gonna to wanna to look into because you can't do that with a traditional diode laser. I find that my 40 watt, and if you have the 20 watt or even the 10 watt M1, those lasers are going to engrave wood, stone, and acrylic really well. You're gonna get a nice look to them. If you wanna bump up your detail even more, you can use the infrared laser module on acrylic as well as stone but really this is meant for raw metals that the traditional diode can't do. You can buy this laser module as an add-on. So if you're buying the S1 and you get the 20 watt or the 40 watt, you can also include this. You can also just go on and buy it separately. If you think you might want to engrave raw metals or precious metals, this is definitely something you're going to want to try. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any other questions, drop them down in the comments and consider subscribing to Creative Ramblings. I am here every week with new videos that help you on your creative journey. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.